The ASX-listed Centuria Metropolitan Rate invests in office and industrial assets in metropolitan markets across Australia. The fund's portfolio comprises nine office and three industrial assets, which are geographically diversified across Sydney, Brisbane, Canberra and Adelaide. I'm Carolyn Herbert and joining me at the CEO sessions in Sydney is the Centuria Metropolitan REIT Trust Manager, Nicholas Blake. Nick, welcome to FNN. Thank you, Carolyn. Could you start by telling us a bit about the Centuria Metropolitan REIT? Sure. CMA is a back-to-basics listed property trust focused on delivering predictable and secure earnings income through a portfolio of office and industrial assets located throughout Australia. And now to your results for FY 2015, the first since listing. What were the highlights? In the seven months since listing, CMA has delivered on its PDS forecast, delivering 9.2 cents per stapled security in distributions for the period to 30 June 2015. For the period in FY16, CMA has advised guidance of 17.9 cents in distributable earnings for the period and 17 cents per, per stapled security in distributions for FY16. On yesterday's closing price of $2.03, that equates to an 8.4% distribution yield paid quarterly with tax advantage component of approximately 60% in FY15. And Nick, what about the fund's gearing and average term of debt? At 24%, CMA's gearing is amongst the lowest within its peer set. The fund has two secure debt facilities from NAB with a total duration of 4.7 years and hedged at approximately 99.3% through to maturity at an all-in rate of 4% per annum. And looking at CMA's property portfolio, what's the split between office and industrial assets? At present, the portfolio is split approximately 18% industrial assets and 82% office assets. So how are they performing? Excellent. Uh, at present, the portfolio is approximately 97% occupied with a weighted average lease expiry of 4.8 years. And importantly, 92% of the fund's income is secured by leases with annual rent reviews of 3.6% per annum. And can you tell us about your new acquisitions and how they complement your portfolio, starting with Marcus Clark Street in Canberra? The two assets in Canberra were acquired on a passing yield of 8.5% with approximately 24% vacancy. We see that as a great opportunity for future upside through releasing, where upon being fully let, the passing yield on those assets will be in excess of 10% per annum. And now to Grenfell Street, Adelaide and Rabina Town Centre. What attracted you to these properties? Those two assets afford exceptionally long whale of four and eight years respectively with defined rental increases helping to underpin the surety of income across the fund's portfolio. And to the financials there, what yield were the properties acquired on and how are the properties financed? The assets were acquired on a combined passing yield of 8.5% and funded through a combination of an entitlement offer at $2.10 per stapled security raising approximately $100 million and debt of approximately $29 million. And finally, Nick, what's the focus for the next 12 months and your outlook for FY 2016? CMA will continue to prudently manage its portfolio with a focus on income and occupancy maximisation. For FY16, we have confirmed distribution guidance of 17 cents per stapled security, which at yesterday's closing price of $2.03 per unit equates to an 8.4 cent distribution yield paid quarterly. Nicholas Blake, thanks for the update on the Centurion Metropolitan Rate. Thank you, Carolyn.